everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Candace Chantel and I teach you how to manifest anything you want into your life with no vibes, frequencies, energies, rituals, just results and we get those here fast, okay? Anyone who's a viewer in our little group, you know manifesting is not complicated, it's simple. Now, I had no intention of doing a second video today but I got asked a really good question in the comments and you guys, I will answer your questions with a video so feel free to ask away and the question was i've heard people say i'm gonna paraphrase i've heard people say the universe if there's something that's not meant for you the universe will not give it to you no matter what is this true you guys we are really lucky here my left eyelash is hanging on by a thread let's hope it makes it through the video so let's answer the question hmm if something's not meant for you no matter what, the universe will not give it to you. So let's go ahead and think about this from a manifesting perspective. The first issue that I have with this statement, if something isn't meant for you, the universe won't give it to you, is that it assumes that the universe or some other entity is sitting outside of you and you have to wait for that entity or thing to decide that it's the time to give it to you or if it's right for you, if it's in the cards for you, not this lifetime, maybe the next, whatever the case. And that is just not true, okay? It is not true. And even when it comes to creation, you know, people like me, coaches, other YouTubers that talk about manifestation, we will say, you know, we'll use phrases like, oh, the universe starts to move, things start to shift, the universe will give you this. This is kind of just like a more of a generalization, but there actually is nothing out there that is sitting there keeping score, waiting, watching a clock, deciding that something is right for you, okay? When we say the universe will start to move, it'll start to shift, essentially we just mean that the actions that other people need to take in order to bring your manifestation to you will begin to happen. We are all connected, all of us through energy. So even our thoughts, you know, the things that, the seeds that we plant with our thoughts for other people will come to fruition, okay? So there's, everything is you. You are everything, there's nothing outside of you, okay? So that's the first thing. The laws of the universe, attraction, assumption, gravity, physics, these laws are not biased or prejudiced by anything. There's no good intention or bad intention. Nothing can be meant for you or not meant for you based on these laws. Gravity does not work for me, but my neighbor is out here floating around because gravity doesn't work for her. Magnetism doesn't work on one pole and not another. These laws are equally and in an unbiased way applied to everyone on the planet. So no, it is not true that if something is not meant for you, it won't be given unto you because you are in charge of everything that flows in and out of your life. Now you might say, okay, well you just gave me all this, all this evidence, all these statements about why it's not true. Well, how come it seems like that sometimes? Sometimes it sure seems like something just isn't working out for me. Like no matter how hard I try, how, how hard I push, it just seems like it's not working out. There's gotta be something more at play here to make it not happen. Well, it's gonna be one of two things and we'll talk about the two different ways. First, because you believe that it's not meant for you and you believe that there's some other thing, you know, person, place or thing, whatever, deciding whether or not you can have something in your life. And that can be like in our spirituality. Some people can say like God is protecting them or watching over them by not giving them something. You see what I mean? Like you believe that this is happening. You can say that, you know, some people believe that maybe in a past life they did something that something in this life is not going to work out. The number one reason why you may think something is not meant for you is simply because you believe it. Because remember, our belief systems make up our life, okay? Just like one person can believe in voodoo or um, like spells and not saying that that's what it is. I'm just, you know, naming different things or tarot reading and they can, you know, read and say for sure this is what they know is going to happen because they believe in it. 
if this person over here doesn't believe in it and isn't giving it a second thought, it's not going to affect their life. Some people don't believe in karma. There are tons of sayings um, like, oh, karma will get them back, da, 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 da. But then you see these bad people, some of them in places of power who never seem to have that bad karma come back on them. It's because they don't believe it will. You believe it will, but you have no impact on their life. You have no weight on what happens to them at all. It's all about what they believe. So if you believe that something is not meant for you, then you are, you are removing it out of your life just by making that statement. So the first reason, because that's what you believe. The second reason is because whatever that thing is, it's actually not aligning with you and who you are. Remember, there can be something out there that you want really, really badly, but unless you align with it, unless you can embody the person who already has it, unless you can put yourself in a mind state of having and not lacking, it's not gonna come to you anyway. So no matter what it is, whether it's a person, whether it's um, like a place or a location, whether it's a, a thing, a material possession that you want, if you are not putting yourself in a position like from a manifestation standpoint where you're changing your attitudes toward it, you're changing your beliefs toward it, you're changing your beliefs towards yourself in relation to whatever it is, when you can put yourself in a state of knowing that, hey, I'm saying this is what I want for my life so I know it's gonna happen. When you can put yourself in that state versus the state you're in now, which is you know lacking whatever it is. So because you're lacking and because you haven't had it for so long, you want to say, well, it's not meant for me or there must be some reason it's not happening. These subconscious beliefs, excuse me, these subconscious beliefs will grow and grow and grow. And what's going to happen is you're going to focus on all the little things that pile up to make you even further believe that it's not meant for you. OK, so short answer. No, there is nothing that the universe will not hand delivered to you, signed, sealed, and, you know, signed, sealed, and delivered in a nice little neat package. There is nothing that is out of your reach that is out of your grasp, okay? Now, I will have a little caveat on that. I do not believe and I do not teach that you should manifest anything that does any harm to others. I think that is one arena where you can get, you know, muddy and sticky. You should not manifest anything where you are doing harm to others it is actually only going to you know because what you're doing is going to come back on you this is not like a karma type of thing but if you're constantly inflicting pain or your actions are inflicting pain upon people we are all connected you are going to receive that same pain that you are constantly giving out remember you attract what you are if you are you know in a state of inflicting harm that's what's going to keep on coming to you. And so that could also, not saying that whoever asked me this question is causing harm, not saying that, but when you think about the things that you want and what you do, you have to remember that, that that could also be a reason why things are not happening as quickly as you want. Okay, hope that answered your question. Talk to you later.